This is the first game to use the motion capture studio that's here, yeah. So this was built uh, when we were developing Batman. And we get acrobats here, the things with the Harley tumbles and stuff like that. I was about to say, because your animators here. are surely not stunt trained. No, no, no. Well, actually, funnily enough, the animators are sometimes the best people to capture because they really understand how that movement translates into the game. We had to produce not only, you know, it wasn't only double the amount of animation that we would have had in previous titles, it's probably ten times more, and the quality bar has really gone up now. We brought in some martial art experts. They were fully trained in all different techniques, and they showed us what they can do. We motion captured them because of our motion capture studio in-house. The stuff that we're doing is translating very well to the characters. The main villains are mainly hand animated because we want to capture that abstract feeling. The people like Harley are, are acrobatic people, so we have to bring in a gymnast to do all the... Uh, gymnastic moves like walkovers, uh, flips, jumps, cartwheels, all sorts of things that nobody here can obviously do. We find that animators are actually very good at producing the results they want to. No matter how good an animator you are, uh, it's that subtlety that really takes the time. And in games production, we don't have the luxury all the time of really spending a lot of time on the animation. So, you know, the, the ambient stuff we have in the background is looking absolutely fantastic now. This is our very own in-house motion capture studio. We're really lucky to have it. What we do is we, after we've planned our moves, um, we get a guy into the suit and we cover him in these little shiny, shiny dots here. And we do a lot of calibration to, to make sure that uh, the, the software understands the size and shape of his body. And then we're pretty much, you know, after initial setup, ready to uh, ready to start capturing. This is the bat cave. Then what happens here? <laughs> so this is where we keep all the props that we use for the motion capture. And what's the most important thing about these different props is the weighting of them themselves. It's pretty badass. Yeah, you can see like this is a proper weighted uh, gun. So when you run with a gun, you're going to run very differently. But if you run with a weighted gun, you have to run very differently again. So all the animations in the game are using proper weighted props. And what are the kinky handcuffs? <laughs> the kinky handcuffs we use for um, suspending people from the ceiling, so we do of different folks. Just animators that have done yeah. their job. Yeah, yeah. Most of the voices, for example, are considered the archetypal Batman voices. So we have Kevin Conroy as Batman, we have Mark Hamill as Joker, and when we recorded them, they just added a level that was unbelievable to the game. What they deliver is, because they've kind of done it before, they always have their own vision for it, which kind of lends itself very well to what we're doing coming from the comic and uh, graphic novel side. Uh, what took you so long? Hmm? <laughs> there is no Batman in my mind other than Kevin Conroy, and Mark is the perfect Joker. It's so much more exciting if you can see him in the recording studio because he almost devours the microphone. He becomes so animated as the Joker that he, he kind of takes over the recording studio. It's really wonderful to be a part of. Another mutation. If Joker's making these monsters, he hasn't perfected the formula yet. I need to hurry. Well, in here, it's a few days of just me, and that's, you know, six to eight hours a day. In a, in a half an hour show, it's a two hour booking session with eight actors. Just today, we were in here for hours doing only my lines. That's much more than you'd ever do in a, in a, in a half an hour animated show, because uh, it's never only one character. So there's a lot more work involved in these, but it's worth it. So now we're going to go and speak to one of the guys in charge of the cinematic side of the game. And not just that, but also stars in the game too. So let's go and speak to Art. Hi Art, how are you doing? Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Actually I do just about a little bit everything in regard of uh, cinematic. I, I acted as Joker, Batman, Harley at some point. Here, this, this is um, actually one of the biggest scenes in, in, in the early chapter. So basically this is a top view of the world and this is the view that's getting featured through that camera right here. So here you see where the camera is backing out from the character, he's, he's walking towards us. So if I scroll the time bar along, you can see the camera is tracking them.